Hello, this is weird. I haven't filmed a video like this in a while, unless it's like a self-tape. So, even self-tapes are weird. So, let's do this. Okay. So, I used to film YouTube videos all the time, whether it was like traveling, or funny sketches, or beauty stuff, makeup stuff. I did my makeup today for the first time in like two weeks, and it feels good. And one thing I have done is like reminisce on like my old YouTube videos and I miss doing it. I miss creating and like having an excuse to uh, do something, get up out of bed. Like I used to make these YouTube videos back when I wasn't in school. Similar situations in like how I'm living currently in the quarantine. Like I was by myself so I would sit and make these YouTube videos or sketches completely by myself. And I just look back in retrospect and I'm just like, damn, I wish I could be like that. And I can. I, that is me. So what's stopping me, right? But yeah, in this time of like quarantine, I've been struggling a lot personally with it. I've been completely by myself for this whole time. And one thing I've been struggling with is like comparing myself a lot to other people out there who do seem to be doing like a lot of things like productivity wise and creativity wise. I've been like trying to do like a bunch of stuff, but I don't know. I've been comparing myself to all these people on social media and they're all so beautiful and I don't know. It's just my own personal like complexes, I guess. Uh, I don't want to have to do my makeup like this every time that I want to put my image on the internet but it's become that way for me. Like I have to do my makeup and it just sucks because I don't know, I'm like not comfortable with myself without my makeup on the internet. In person, I do it all the time. So I don't know what the big stigma is for me, but I've just been holding myself back. Yeah, I just wanted an excuse to have a project to do in quarantine and I guess coming back to YouTube. Like, I've been wanting to do it for a long time, but what's been holding me back is, I don't know, I, I'm just like, I'm such a harsh critic on myself. I'm so hard on myself. I'm so self-conscious of what people think of me. When, like, if you know me in person, you know that I'm, like, really confident and extroverted and sometimes I really don't care. Like, I can pull the ugliest face and I really don't care but I don't know what it is. I think it's like when I'm like spontaneous in front of someone, I can be a goofball, but then when I have time to like process it and think about it, like with photos on social media and videos, like I'll be sitting there like watching it, like, and I'll refilm it over and over and over and over. I'm constantly editing myself because I'm scared that people are gonna judge me. I'm like about to cry. Huh. <sighs> You could tell quarantine's like really, really hitting me. I'm constantly editing myself for the approval of others, and I'm tired of it. I don't want to cry. Ah. I'm tired of editing myself for the masses. I want to be the same outgoing, confident self that I am in person on social media, on the internet, whatever. It's crazy how everything has like become social media and screens and whatever. But if that's the way that it has to be right now and I'm unable to interact with my friends, my family, and I haven't been able to do so for a month, then I'm gonna bring my, <sighs> oof, and then I'm going to bring my sense of humor and my positivity. I even know I'm crying right now. I'm just getting emotional. I'm going to bring all of that energy in these random silly videos from the past and possibly now in quarantine. I just, I want to be with them so bad. So if I could like give them like a moment of like laughing at me. Like, yes, my personality has changed, but I'm still the same person that I was four years ago. Oh, I didn't think I'd be this emotional. But 
um, yeah, I just, I just want to feel more connected. <sighs> I need to stop crying. <sighs> I just want to feel more connected with my people. And so, today, that is how I feel. And I don't know if it'll change tomorrow. I don't know if I will change my mind and not want to do it anymore. But as of today, that's how I feel. Okay, I've calmed myself down. So I posted today on Instagram asking people if they would like to see some hidden vlog footage of me and my sister in Asia back four years ago in 2016. So we went to Japan and we went to China and we went to Hong Kong and then we went to Paris and then back to Spain. So I filmed every single day of that trip. I was actually posting videos during that time, so what stopped me from uploading all of that footage is the fact that I was on vacation with my sister and like before going to bed every night I was trying to like put together footage for these vlogs and we were away for 36 days, which is over a month, and filming constantly for 36 days, excessive like footage because we went to like crazy cool things like the Great Wall of China and the opening of Shanghai Disneyland and just so much stuff. It just became so overwhelming that I kind of traumatized myself with the footage and I just haven't touched it in years. Um, I have a few vlogs already edited and I was just watching them like I'm so cringy because I'm a completely different person than I am in those videos. But it's so cute, it's like these awesome memories. But now, because I asked on Instagram and people want to see it, I think it kind of motivates me to actually get the footage done. Yeah, so 36 days traveling around Asia is probably gonna be 50 plus videos. I'm warning you now, I'm cringy, I'm weird, um, I talk like this. <laughs> Such a weird thing to transition from this to this. <laughs> this is weird. <laughs> also, some of the videos, like, I was traveling with my sister, but sometimes she didn't want to be on camera, so it's not that I'm, like, by myself or that I don't want her on camera. It's just that sometimes she didn't want to be on camera. She didn't feel very comfortable being on camera. If you don't want to see these videos, don't see them. If you want to see them, please see them. If you want to see them just to hate on them, please don't see them. This is just something special for me and like a gift to my sister because I'm unable to see her and spend time with her. So if you do choose to go and watch all that stuff, I just ask, please be kind and gentle. The last thing we need right now is hate. And uh, especially me right now, I'm kind of fragile. So if you don't care for that stuff, just don't look at it and don't hate on it. Just love, but yeah. That is my TED talk right now. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know what else to say, but yeah, check it out.